Welcome to the de Havilland Aircraft Museum. The DH-98 Mosquito was originally designed as a high-speed bomber. Instead of defensive guns that would add weight and complexity, it would rely on its speed. But soon after the Mosquito prototype flew, there were plans to build a fighter version. Here at the museum we have the original prototype Mosquito, and also a bomber and a fighter bomber. So let's have a look at the differences. The most obvious differences between the two versions is the glazed nose on the original prototype and on this B-35 late mark bomber. Looking inside the aircraft you can see that the navigator sat on the right hand side of the plane next to and slightly behind the pilot. When they neared the bombing area the navigator would have to worm his way beside the pilot seat and into the nose area here where he could look out and view the target and aim and release bombs. This is the type of equipment which was used to aid the navigator bomb aimer. The bomb aiming mechanisms of the day were quite bulky. Obviously there was no laser guidance or computer controlled weapons in those days. Instead this was a mechanical system which attempted to predict the fall of bombs. The sighting was based on an assessment of the speed of the aircraft but also taking into account the wind direction and drift. To B-35 mosquitoes like this one here could carry a single massive 4,000 pound bomb, the famous cookie that was designed to smash through the roof of a factory and then explode inside, destroying the factory equipment and infrastructure. If you look at the nose of a fighter bomber version such as this Mark VI, you can immediately see the difference. These are the barrels of four Browning machine guns projecting from the solid nose of the aircraft. Together these guns packed about half the punch of say a Spitfire Mark II or a Hurricane Mark I. But there was more to the Mosquito fighter bomber than just these machine guns. This is a Hispano Suiza 20mm cannon. The fighter bomber carries four of these below the machine guns. As you can see here the shells are a significant size and much larger than the rifle caliber machine gun bullets. The rate of fire was less than the Brownings but the impact was much more. Let's have a look at the Mosquito fighter bomber 6 again. Unlike the machine guns the cannon barrels are not immediately visible. Instead you can see the slots here underneath the fuselage which the cannon fire through. The guns themselves have been fixed here in front of the bomb bay and they fire through the slots under the fuselage. So we have four 20mm cannon plus four 7.7mm machine guns in total. That makes more firepower than many contemporary fighters such as the Hurricane or Spitfire. And the Mosquito fighter bomber still has space for a couple of bombs in the back of the bomb bay. There is another clearly recognisable difference between these two versions of Mosquito. Here you can see the front window of the bomber version. Notice that the glass is swept back on each side. This gives a slight aerodynamic shape to the glass cockpit area. Compare that with the front window of the fighter bomber. Here you can see the window is flat, facing the direction of flight. This is because a swept back windscreen would have a distorting effect if you were looking forward and wanted to aim through the gun sight. And there is another reason as well. This is a close up of the front window of the fighter bomber. It consists of a thick laminated armoured glass and it's quite heavy as you can see. This armoured glass was designed to deflect even a 20mm shell and protect the pilot. Other differences you may notice are that the crew access is a floor hatch in the bomber and a side door on the fighter's starboard side. A little harder to see is that the fighter has weapon firing controls on the control column and a gun sight behind the armoured glass. So there are very clear differences between the original bomber version of the Mosquito and the fighter bomber. Once you know the differences it's easy to pick them out in a wartime film. And sometimes in post-war movies it's easy to see where a Mosquito bomber has been made up to appear as a fighter version. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed this video click the like button now. And if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel. See you at the museum.